We have all heard of stock exchanges and know from the way they are discussed in the media that the largest ones have an impact on the world economy. Do we know what a stock exchange really is? It's a market for buying and selling of financial instruments like shares, stock in a business or a bond issued from the government. Observers look at what is happening from day to day in the exchanges to try and get a picture of how well businesses are doing especially the multinational corporations the largest stock exchanges are in the major financial capital cities let's take a look at the largest 10 if you are new to this channel don't forget to press the subscribe button this is sapientia island late 19th century, a group of 20 businessmen would gather in Mumbai to buy and sell commodities underneath trees in front of the city's town hall. The gathering grew in number over time, eventually becoming the Native Share and Stock Brokers Association. This is the group that would become the Bombay Stock Exchange. The BSE uses a Sensex as its index to measure the market volatility. There are 30 companies on the index. The BSE is the oldest existing stock exchange in Asia. There were several informal gatherings of businessmen in Toronto in the mid-19th century with the purpose of trading commodities, bonds and bank-issued instruments. After a period where the Toronto economy was in distress, the group halted meeting until the market grew stronger. There were several other exchanges in Canada over time. However, the TSE is a senior group that trades stocks. A private company, the TMX Group became the parent company of the TSE. China is one of the world's fastest growing economy and it has two of the world's largest stock markets. The first is the Shenzhen Stock Exchange located in the Guangdong province. It is the fourth largest exchange in Asia. The city's population has exploded in the years since the SSE opened. The population grew from 2 to 12 million people. Major international corporations like Tencent and Huawei has offices in Shenzhen as the city has become a major financial center. The London Stock Exchange currently has over 2,600 companies on its list originating in 60 countries. Those numbers combine the main market companies and those traded on the alternative international market which makes space for smaller companies. Trading among the brokers is done on the floor and electronically. With the formation of the European Union Trade Organization and the adoption of a currency, it made sense to have a stock exchange that mirrors the EU's approach to international trade. The Euronext was built on a merger of the exchange in some of the major cities in Europe – Paris, London, Brussels, Amsterdam and Lisbon. Two other exchanges held a controlling financial interest in Euronext until 2014 when it was split from the parent company and shares offered to the public. While the main headquarters is in Amsterdam, Euronext has market buildings in major financial hubs of Europe. Hong Kong was a major financial hub in Asia before the People's Republic of China annexed the city in 1997. The entity Hong Kong Exchanges and Clearing became the holding company for Hong Kong Stock Exchange in 2000. The Chinese government has invested in the HKE and their involvement in the market is a subject of some controversy. The Hong Kong Stock Exchange is one of the oldest stock exchanges in Asia, founded during the years Hong Kong was a British colony. The Shanghai Stock Exchange is the largest in China and the second largest in Asia. That three of the largest markets are located in China reflects their growing economy, the second largest in the world in 2021. The PRC government exercises substantial influence over the stock exchange as well as the Shenzhen market due to the government's monetary policy. Unlike the Hong Kong exchange, there is little foreign investment. There has been trading in the Shanghai since the 19th century in various forms. The current market under government control was established to meet the demands of the economic reforms. The Shanghai Stock Exchange is the only non-profit stock exchange among the top 10 largest in the world. The Tokyo Stock Exchange, also known as the Nikkei, is the largest stock market in Asia. The creation of the market was part of the movement to bring Western-style finance and economics to the Japanese empire. 
During the Second World War, the Tokyo Exchange merged with markets in other cities to form a Japan-wide market. After the war, as part of the reconstruction headed by United States, a new Tokyo Stock Exchange appeared. During the Japanese economic boom of the Showa and Heisei eras, the market exploded in value. And in 1990, the Nikkei held 60% of the world's market capitalization. The Nasdaq was created when a group of dealers wanted a way to provide automatic stock price quotes. An automated quote would ostensibly lower the difference between the bid price and the price a seller is willing to accept. Eventually, the Nasdaq not only offered automatic quotes, but the ability to buy and sell stock electronically, making it the first electronic stock market. Because of Nasdaq's policy of allowing trading for smaller companies, it attracted tech companies like Microsoft to be listed. Those companies became big and helped make Nasdaq the second largest. The NYSE is the largest stock exchange in the world when observing market capitalization. Over half of the Americans have invested in companies listed on the market and has 40% of the world capitalization in 2018. It has been the world's largest market for the past century. Given the amount of market share listed, when something goes wrong with the NYSE, the world is affected. Such events include the market crash of 1929 and the attack on the World Trade Center. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to comment, like, share and subscribe.